G'day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at how the physical god Goku does in the Super Activation Cell Max event. So the Super Activation Cell Max event is obviously, full disclaimer, a very difficult event. It is an event that is best taken on with units that have guard damage reduction or high levels of evasion or sometimes a mixture of both. It also has bonus category units that do additional damage to cell max if they are part of the requisite superheroes category. Beyond that though, Goku has pretty much everything that you need to take on the cell max event. Also if a unit does not do well in the cell max event, it does not mean that they are bad it's just simply one of the metrics we can use to measure how good a unit is in the Sun Max event. Not to mention the Sun Max event is somewhat unique in a certain extent in the fact that basically it has a very 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 quick first two phases which jump up rapidly in difficulty once you get to the tech Sun Max. So it's definitely quite challenging and obviously it doesn't leave a lot of time uh, for stacking units or things like that to take place. So it is definitely quite challenging from that perspective. And so I think overall, that is something you're going to have to consider when you look at the event and Goku's performance inside of it. But I think overall, Goku looks really, really solid. And I think in general, uh, as a unit, he does a really, really good job uh, in his overall performance. We are going to be looking at a 100% Goku, uh, just because I'm finding it pretty easy to find 100% Gokus. And with Tech Bardock, we're able to run him under a 200% lead, which means in general it's looking pretty good. So just to obviously recap Goku a little bit, Goku is a pure sans and a hybrid sans lead of 170%. He also leads the Power of Wishes and Exploding Rage categories for 30%, which gives him pretty decent coverage. Hybrid Sands and Pure Sands as a leader skill is pretty all-inclusive, and Goku himself has a really, really good kit. He starts out with 100% attack and the ability to change orbs. Everyone in your team is super class, which we do have. He also then has an additional attack and defense of 150%, Gains 50% attack and defense when firing a super attack, and he has 30% evasion. He will also gain 50% attack and defense and another 30% evasion if you get 3 physical orbs. And should you get 6 physical orbs, he will have guard, which is very very strong, and fire off a guaranteed super attack. After he's fired off 4 super attacks, he will have a full additional 50% attack buff and also he raises attack and defense permanently on his super attack. So Goku is pretty strong and he looks very very good. Obviously something that plays into his favor is that he has guard and evasion. So you're going to see Goku either have the ability to tank normals pretty well or he's going to have the ability to evade super attacks. Generally speaking, Goku looks really good at 100%, he stacks really quickly, and this helps him in general with just defending uh, against Cell Max in a lot of ways. One thing I will say is that Goku's damage output at 100% is pretty good, uh, and I can't really deny that. Uh, you're going to see Goku here do some pretty big attack stats, and yeah, Goku just looks really, really solid overall. His best pairing partner is the strength Super Saiyan Kaioken Blue God Goku, uh, but obviously, you know, to cut a long story short, on JP this guy is a lot better than he is on Global. So if you're on JP, he's going to be a fantastic linking partner, and if you're on Global, he's going to be the best one, but maybe not the most durable option. When you have God Goku, anything is really possible. Because this guy can just hit huge stats all over the place. You're seeing him rock 11 millions and just really decimating the opposition. Which is incredibly solid. Uh, he's really, really good. To cut a long story short. So Goku is very good. 
Uh, and I think overall most people will be happy if they manage to pull Goku and is a unit that can help you complete Cell Max. Well, yeah, pretty much. He's able to help you complete Cell Max quite easily. Uh, he himself is really solid. Obviously, the consistency of his tanking with six orbs is pretty, um, yeah, pretty debatable. But three orbs, very easy to get, and his evasion helps him out a lot. Uh, you're going to see him evade you know, a ton of attacks, which is always super duper helpful. And yeah, in general, he's just very, very good. Obviously, his link set is... A little bit wonky, so you don't have a lot of units that link really well with him, or at least top options that link really well with him. Uh, but in general, you do have pretty solid uh, units in general that link up pretty decently with him. So, obviously, we're going to take a look at him on the tech cell max phase. Uh, pretty good defense with guard, he'll probably take less than 100k, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, he's also got all six orbs active, which is really solid. So he's got 60% evasion, guard, and he's going to do a decent amount of damage. We're not too concerned right now with linking him up crazily. Uh, you could link him up pretty much any unit, as long as they share a key link with him. Because obviously super attacks are important, but also for his secondary unit as well. Uh, but right now, just because we're getting a look at him, uh, we just want to get a real nice look see. Uh, and overall, he's looking solid. 50k per hit is honestly not a big deal, considering how hard Cell Max hits, and that's obviously with his guard active. Uh, but yeah, overall, really, really good stuff. You can see here, he's gonna get, well, he's not gonna get super because he's gonna evade, because he has 60% evasion. So Goku uh, showing off pretty much every facet of his passive there, uh, and you can see that he's more than capable of handling, handling cell max which is really really good obviously this goku's at 100 percent but i think a goku at 55 percent probably a really good floater for the event again you can see here we're going to get six orbs so goku's going to be in a good situation we again want to see just how well he does uh, and this time he hasn't really had time to stack at all uh, but again you can just see all of this evasion coming in clutch which is incredible uh, goku's just really really solid it's so impressive and yeah i think goku goku is a very good unit again you can see here once more super duper big damage and yeah goku just looks really really good i think the thing is is obviously there will be times where he gets hit by a super attack or even by normals without his guard or without his evasion kicking in but i think the thing is 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 goku able to complete the sun accident 100% Goku can definitely be a fantastic tool in you know, whichever way you want it to be whether that's second slot if you're lucky with orbs first slot or if you just want to rely on evasion first slot and obviously he's a great floater as well but that's it from me let me know what you think bye